What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Let's Play Empire to the War as the Ottoman Empire. So to run off happened last time, we're focusing a lot on Persia and we're drawing in all of their considerable reinforcements to attack us outside the gates of Yerevan where their main force sits. And I don't really want to lose too many men in attacking it because we've got, you can, might, you can see one flag just about sticking out down there, but there's a whole bunch more troops waiting to come in. So I want to do this as bloodlessly as possible. And I want to be enough of a, strong enough of a position that if I want to I can push into Persia and secure Esfahan and try and sue for some kind of peace. That would be ideal. So it's not... It's not the enemy. Well, I'm not concerned about the uh, the bad guys directly. I'm concerned about the impact it may have on future campaigns were I to lose a lot of men. So there is a tactical decision to be placed where I could deploy further back, take more advantage of my cavalry defences. Um, that's deploy deploy up front fairly protect the right Ashibazuk to protect the left Israelis already got on the right as well did I not move oh damn I got a lot of melee troops So it looks like they're waiting on their they're waiting on their reinforcing uh, camel units, which is fine for me. Gives me more. Oh no, they are pushing up. But it just gives me a good opportunity to shoot the hell out of them with my cannons, and especially because it looks like they want to attack on a slightly different axis, which means we can do this. So we are giving up our defences, but I don't think it'll, it'll matter, because we've got a big line of Bashi Bazooks sat behind, waiting, if they dare, to try to intercept us. Hit that unit of Feleen specifically. Especially these guys are both Seminis, so they're, they're like militia, but they're a bit worse. first volleys of gunfire have gone off as the front rank of the column falls the next rank steps over them going to charge in If they ever decide to make it into line, then what ends up happening is my guys will just charge into them. And we've got a lot of targets. Already mass routes have happened. This poor unit of water going to fall back. Poor souls. Yep. They've had enough. Desert Warriors are still... They're still kicking. They're apparently doing quite well. But they're not really in a good position for me to actually engage with my artillery. Up. 
Camels appear to not want to get involved. Or oh, they're stuck. They're stuck and they can't get onto the field. Great. I'm hoping firepower, the firepower turns against the Desert Warriors. These Feline start to fire upon them. Once. Well, once the combat's sufficiently turned in our favour. There we go. So now soon, there'll be two units both engaging the Desert Warriors. Like they are now. General's bodyguard's coming in. He, he's had enough of this and he wants to support his lone unit. If any misses may kill his ca may kill his uh, cavalry. Just give me to pound him. And I might just speed this up a bit because realistically nothing's happening. As everyone's going to to route once they've lost a few men. So I'm losing a lot of this really to them. I'm curious to see if these both route will the camels screw the result up. My artillery got a hit there and took out two of their cavalry. There we go, Feline. Take him out. So the bugged camels are going to matter, are they? So let's make a run. Artillery can try and shoot at them from the long range. I mean, I have to kill this house first, but. I'm only sending two, because if these guys can't do it, then. If these guys can't actually shoot at them, then I'll have to deploy. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to just cut the recording and speed towards the end of the episode. Or the end of the battle, sorry. Which obviously I do not want to do. Which would be a good idea to have. I mean, I'm going to expect they can't shoot at them. No, they can't. But maybe. My artillery destroying this house, if they can destroy this house, may cause them to enter the field. Um, either way, I think I'm going to cut the recording here and then bring you guys back once this battle is over. So, see you in a sec, guys. Here we go, fellas. destroy a building so let's halt a camel fire because when these guys get into the battle it's going to be all about that musketry not musketry melee They're winning decisively. It's because they hold this lone advantage.
top fire. Get all my guys to run past the reinforcing army. I mean, I don't quite know. I need to let them come onto the field, I think. I might do some filling into this, but meh. These are strange times. Just charge into them and mow them down. Then I've got these guys that can fire onto the flank and shoot the camels on the backside. See, this is the thing with Empire, you've got to come up with inspiring solutions. There we go. Eh. I might have lost my kill ratio a bit towards the end. But these are the things you've got to do against the AI. That's right. Fall back, you scam. We'll teach you who the true Mediter not Mediterranean, Middle Eastern power is. Spoiler alert, it's us! Okie dokie, so. Let's see how things develop. Trade raided. Happiness and plus more morale in battles. Good. Yep. Raid right away. Lots of farmland and lots of sultans' observatories being built. Let's make sure these guys, they're still replenishing. One more turn and they're all gone. Might start to actually build some... Some troops just to help, re help support the army. These guys are here just to mainly stop a breakout. Okay, let's spend this last 3,000 on upgrading craft weavers and build an ordnance factory just to unlock the next. Well, they're not in the next tech level, but you know, just to keep progressing. Awesome. What I could really do is a great. We've still got. We've actually got, got a good army guy. This guy's plus five justice. It's a shame what he does for the lower classes, but it's got to be done. So this goes three, four, five, six for treasury. Okay, so if I put you into head, say, you'd be three becomes four becomes five. So he's better at treasury or army. Actually, he's three, becomes four, five, six for the army. So I might move him to the army. This guy to the treasury. To help produce our army upkeep as much as we can. One more turn and we've got the next level... We got um, imperial, not empiricism, social contract. That's the one. Let's hit end turn. Our spy keeps on moving. So we've got lots of standing armies, but I'm hoping we can grow the wealth in our towns enough that soon we won't really care about trade. And I also hope Austria has got its hands full enough in Central Europe that they didn't really have the strength to come after me. The Persians do, but they've got lots of these armies have been pushed back individually and they're very poor quality, so... Hmm. I 
think that means we get Yerevan. Because I think they only had one more turn to hold it. So the city has become ours without a fight. If I've been interpreting things correctly. That's not good. That's fine. Go on, Venice. Do what you like. Unless they go and attack Iceland. In which case that'd be frustrating, but... Not so bad. So, I've been asked this previously, but why I don't attack Patras? I mean, in my last campaign when it was still under Iraq Iroquois rule. The main reason being that they are... Oh, they're actually at war with the French now. Previously, in the last campaign, they were allied to them. But yeah, I still don't want to go to war with Venice or the United Provinces. So, that's the main reason why. And we have a new scholar. What do you do, son? Something of a blade. Okay, you go to Kayseri. Let's upgrade the college here. And let's also upgrade the madrasa to a... Yusekokol to get plus four happiness for the Muslim population, which is growing still. So, clamour for reform is going to go up. So, we really need Bay's Mansion to start growing. Stop, start really, um, start the Bay. Hope, I want the Bay's Mansion to repression to help counter that somewhat. We are growing Batman so I can build that into a happiness building, which is, I thought it was somewhere over here. Oh well, I can turn that into a happiness building to help offset the school even more. There we go, Yerevan is ours. Spend some more money on replenishment because we now may have to hold it against this wave of troops coming in. You guys are bringing up cannons. Okay, they are growing artillery. So let's, get, let's get this guy to infiltrate Esfahan, or at least try to. lots of these guys are entrenched and they're actually they're the same units we have but they're just still not great so let's stop researching carbines uh, start to research common land enclosures I suppose to get next level farms or improved animal husbandry actually to get more wealth I think that's a good shout. Yeah, that's the camels moving up to Mihadanat. Region captured Armenia. And they do quite the, well, they really like us. Actually, they still slightly like us, even because we are. They share a lot of common links with us. How good is the operation here? Now, our religious unrest is going up, but. I don't know it makes me wonder is it worth is it better off is it better off for me to just get this guy to help convert our own population i think in the grand scheme it is because we've only got two priests so this guy to convert istanbul i'd like another one to be developed to help start converting yerevan and actually well, damascus could do with some help but in general let's head in turn to get ring bayonets or plug bayonets sorry now we've got the sultan's observatories in istanbul and ankara yeah you can blockade us as much as you like we're still not making much money although it wouldn't be a terrible idea to start building a navy now that my army position is now getting pretty stable sending much more troops up to the front they're consolidating their forces and they're actually just going to go around Yerevan well if that's the game you're going to play oh my my agent is still actually up near Georgia hmm. so I think it's time to move the army back out of Yerevan to start engaging oh they actually Venice took Tunis Huh. Um, so our army's up in Yerevan. I'm going to send them out to go and engage the Persian forces on the battlefield. Because I don't really care about this city. Specifically. 
So we've got plug bayonets. Don't let them go straight onto what they like. Go on to ring bayonets. So we make it 2,000 a turn because we're losing a whole bunch of trade because of the Austrians here. Let's try and make peace with them because I'm hoping the war has gone badly for them. Peace and trade. Very well. Let's build a fifth rate. Let's start to build up our armies. Because they're probably at war with... Well, oh, they're at war with Poland, but not with Prussia. They're allied with Prussia. So they've, st they've still got problems. So our port's blockaded, which sucks. But we've recruited artillery. Which is going up to some allegedly it's going up to Yerevan, but I might redirect it to Mihad Dana and he can move in to start trying to knock out some of these chaps. Although we've not Oh no, that's a good amount of musket infantry. Send them in. As we will send take these guys out over here. And hit this fragment. Push them back. They are now probably going. These guys are probably going to run south to do some raiding, but this is why we're going to keep going with our camel building. Steady under fire. Good old Mehmet, and also he's a confident general. Awesome. Turn. So our guy was unsuccessful in infiltrating, but fortunately did not die. Ah, oh. Austria has blockaded one of our ports. Hmm. So they've left a lone ship behind. If it's a poor one, I might steal it. But at least we got to thank they're not actually ruining our ports like they did manage to successfully raid the port in. Oh, in um, Athens, but Athens isn't, it's not a key port like Izmir or the other one is in the. I'm not sure what that part of the sea is, Adriatic. The Persians are sending, they're pumping out a lot of troops. Yeah, by all means, go for it. We killed 720 of them. So I treat garrisons as free troops. So at the very least, what they've done to them is they've managed to degrade the army attacking it for, for free. I've not paid for that garrison, so... Successful mission. Okay, so soon, apparently, I should see where all their armies are. Because I refuse to believe they have no armies in the rest of Persia. Um, you send, send you guys up and just hit them. Let's all take that battle. Good, we've pushed them back to the capital, so the so another grand battle is starting to emerge. Send this camel team up to meet them. Same with these guys. While you can march in, hit Tabriz, and cut off their resupply. Bankrupt. That's obviously not good. What about Austria if we did this? Peace. And I'll give you... I can't give you... Wait a minute. Oh, here you go. I'll give you Bulgaria. So army was destroyed. That was the garrison of Armenia. So we've given them Bulgaria. But what that does mean is it's reduced our trade problem considerably. Oh, it turns out you, this army, this garrison was important. 
Okie dokie, so where's that school? Sorry, school. No building for you. Instead, let's rebuild and let's try to get a unit of Muslim to go in there and occupy the port. Come on, Austria, let's trade. We haven't got to go to war. You've got bigger problems to deal with than us. Uh, you can stay stay nearby. Actually, I might put a fort near this port, maybe here, or just here on the crossroads. So ports are blockaded, but we've dealt with that. Getting a slight amount of income, but lots of this. Turns out Athens was really important. But we're growing quite well. What can we build? I mean, you may as well build ornamental tulip gardens. Because you don't need military buildings yet here. Spend the last handful of cash on replenishing one of these units. Some replenishing you guys. Awesome. I think Britain might be trying it on again. The scamps. But I doubt they'll last. But things seem to be going rather well. Or at least better. So if I can expand into Persia while holding off on the west, that allow me to up-tier my economy, up-tier my military infrastructure, and things will just generally be better. So I move my religious agent that's currently in Bulgaria, move them south to Athens to help convert their population towards Islam. Now you guys pull back. Um, yes, chop them up. Mm, you have a choice to make, sir. Do you go north to support the garrison, or do you go south to try and cause more mayhem? My army might be going east to besiege Armenia. in order to cause some trouble for them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Scholar in Greece. So let's get him into Istanbul. Get you out of here. Yep, it's about four grand a turn. That's pretty much most of our trade goes into here. So let's get our Agent out to Athens because he's got a lot of pop, lot of converting to do. Heracleon's going to be developed. Okay, at some point I'm going to build those buildings, but instead I'm going to build a governor's residence in Athens. Morocco's just been chilling out, which I'm cool with. <laughs> Do you want to blockade them? Or do I use them to consolidate my victories up here? So do I besiege? Do I besiege Yerevan to try to draw this army in? Because they may run south. Okay, Anatolia's built the top building for religious happiness. And it should get stronger as the population gets a bit bigger. But I do need to spend some time just building up these just regular industry buildings, because I've got one. But next turn, I'll get two choices, two brand new choices for tech. So I'm going to need to build a new barracks in Istanbul to keep my military techs researching onwards. But I'm also going to have to balance that between my economy.
Don't worry, Austria. I'm not going to declare war on you until I'm ready to grind you into the dirt. Hmm. Where are you going? Oh, you lost a battle, that's why. <laughs> you lost a battle against the Spanish. But everything seems to be going okay. Awesome. Yeah, you're consolidating your armies now around your capital because you know that we're going for you. Ooh, and you want to fight this battle, do you? Absolutely, because you've got lots of camels and now um, I can still deploy lots of spikes. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.